approximately 25 years later, and at a private game reserve in Mpumalanga, Londolozi, Renius and I were thrown together to become ranger and tracker to take paying guests out on safaris, mostly with international travelers. And I think the head ranger of the time assigned me to the most experienced tracker to try and offset this imbalance of inexperience. Because as I alluded to earlier, I had very little value to add to that job at that time. The reason I could do it, number one, I could speak English. Number two, I knew how to drive that Land Rover. But for most of the rest, I depended heavily on Renius. And it was an unusual situation in that although the responsibility of that safari lay with me, technically, as the certified game ranger, in actual fact, Renius was in total control. And I realized at some point in those early phases that if I had any remote chance of becoming a successful game ranger, I needed to start building a rapport, a relationship with this man that I'd been assigned to work with. 